Hey there, wonderful viewers. It's a fantastic to reconnect with you all after what feels like a mini forever. I know it's been a while since our last video and for that I genuinely apologize. Life decided to throw a bunch of businesses my way but hey, we are here now and that's what truly matters. So let's dive back into the world of coding with a big smile. Welcome back fellow developers. Today we have got something special lined up. One of my popular video is generating PDF using Laravel snappy package. If you have not watched that video, I will put the link of it in the video description. You should watch that video also. It is a fantastic package. But I have seen many comments on that video. You have faced issues with generating PDF using that Laravel snappy, maybe due to device compatibility or other hiccup. I totally get it. Those tech glitches can be frustrating. So today we are going to explore a more reliable package that is generating PDF using browser short in Laravel. Before we begin, let's understand what browser short is all about. Browser short is a convenient Laravel package that uses the headless Chrome browser to render HTML pages and generate PDFs. It simplifies the process of creating printable content from your application. The main reason to use Laravel snappy package was it allows to execute JavaScript. So we can print different kinds of charts, for example, pie chart extra in PDF. We can do same thing with the browser short package as well. In this video, we will try this out as well. So now let's try this. So first let's go to terminal and let's create a fresh Laravel application. So here I'll say Laravel new. So let's say our Laravel application name is Laravel PDF tutorial. Now let's go to CD Laravel PDF tutorial and let's open this in the editor. Now initialize git and git add git commit initial. So now PHP artisan server and let's open this in the browser. This is done. This is our fresh Laravel application. Our next step is to install this browser short package. So let's go to its documentation from this link. Let's go to this requirements. First here we need to install this puppeteer package. So let's copy this npm command and and here I'll run npm install puppeteer. It is installed. Now let's see our next step. Next we are going to install the browser short package. So let's go to this installation and setup link and let's copy this composer require command and run this here on this terminal. It's done. Our installation is complete. Now it's time to generate PDF files. So let's run PHP at sensor. And in the editor, let's open the routes web.php. And here let's generate PDF files. So, so let's go to the documentation. And here is the link for creating PDFs. It allows us to take screenshots of the websites. So let's try this and paste it here and make sure to import this browser short class. This one. 
in the save method we will pass the path where it is going to save this pdf file by default it is going to save this in the public directory right here so let's try this in the browser here refresh and here we get error the npm and node not found this error is because by default it is going to look for npm and node in the user local bin directory because i am using nvm so the path of npm and node is not matching here with user local bin directory so if in the terminal i run which node it has given this installation path of node similarly if i run which npm it will give us this path for the npm so how we can fix this issue so to fix this let's go to the documentation and here in the requirements here we have two methods to specify the node and npm binary or we can use this method to specify this path so let's try this i'm going to copy this and paste this there and now let's copy this path and replace it right here now save and let's try and of course we need to run php artisan sir command now let's refresh and here we go it's done and now let's see if it is downloaded and here we have example pdf let's open this containing folder and here we have example pdf this is the screenshot of the example.com similarly let's take a screenshot of laravel.com and this save method save the screenshot in the pdf by detecting this extension if we say extension png or jpg it will print that screenshot in the png format let's see that also so refresh and in the public directory here we have example png image or instead of this save method we can explicitly call save pdf and let's name this laravel pdf let's go to browser refresh is done now in the public folder we have laravel pdf file here we go it has printed the entire web page in the 13 pages now this path is hard coded so we should specify this path in the environment file so let's open the env file here let's say browser short include path is equal to this value now in the config services in the end here i'll add a new configuration for browser short include path which is going to be dollar path this one and then concat with env this env configuration like this and now here we can say config services dot browser short include path so now let's try this one if it works so first let's delete these pdf files and now in the browser refresh it's done and now here we have pdf file right now we are taking a screenshot of the website using this url method instead of this we can also pass html to print in the pdf so here we can call html and then we will pass a html marker so let's say in the h1 tag laravel pdf tutorial now let's save this and let's run this in the browser and in the public folder 
here we have PDF file that prints Laravel PDF tutorial. Right now what we are doing, we are saving this generated PDF file in this specified path. But sometimes you may not want that. Instead, you want to download this or display this in the browser. So how we can do that? For that, first instead of this save method we will call PDF, it will give us the base64 decoded string instead of saving on disk. And now here we can return new response. and make sure to import this class and next here we will pass $pdf this one and the status code is going to be 200 and in the third parameter we will pass headers here header is going to be content type is application pdf and content disposition is attachment and next we will pass the file name let's say file name is example.pdf and finally we will pass content length and for that here we will call helper method str length and we will pass the pdf variable is done let's test this in the browser refresh and now you can see it has downloaded the pdf file example.pdf let's open this laravel pdf tutorial similarly we can also stream this in the browser so for that what here we can do let's comment this and again return new response and here also we will pass dollar pdf status is going to be 200 and in the third parameter the headers are going to be content type application pdf and content disposition is and here we will pass in line file name example.pdf now let's try this one refresh and now we can see the pdf in the browser now in this code the difference is right here here we pass the content disposition attachment and here we have passed inline and here it needs a uh, content length as well now in this code you can see we have passed the HTML markup in this HTML method. But most of the time what we want, we create a view file and the HTML of that view file should be printed in the PDF. So how we can implement that? So for that, let's create a view file. So for that, let's go to resources, views, and here we will create a new directory. Let's say PDFs. And here we will create a example dot blade dot php. Now here let's create a HTML markup. And here let's say in the h1 tag Laravel PDF. And now here we want to pass this HTML right here. For that, what we can do, let's say here HTML is equal to view and then here view path it's a pdfs dot example and then we will call renderer method it will return the html for this view file and now we can pass this html variable here let's save this and try refresh here we go we have now laravel pdf from the view if your application has a requirements to export multiple kinds of pdf files then you can create a common layout for them let's see this here in the views we will create a directory components and here we will create a layout file pdf 
layout.blade.php and here let's copy this entire HTML markup and paste it here in this PDF layout file now now here we can remove this next in the, the let's print the slot in this layout file we can create a common header footer for each PDF file export for example let's say here we want to display our logo so here I can say div and in this div I have image tag for now let's print the placeholder http placehold dot it and let's say its width and height is under 100 and text logo and I want to display it in the center so let's start this style width 100% display legs and align items center this is going to be the common in every PDF file so now in the example PDF here we can say x PDF hyphen layout this name and then here we can print our PDF content let's add some lorem text now let's go to browser and refresh here we go it has printed the image and lorem text this image is not in the center maybe I have made some mistake in the styling here the width 100% display flex align item center so mistake is here when we provide the display flex by default the flex direction is row in that case align item center here it should be justify content center now if we refresh and this time it is center if we say flex direction column and now in that case here we need to provide the align items center and now it will also display the image in center here we go this browser short package provide us many helper methods let's see this in the documentation so in the creating PDFs here we can provide the paper size let's see this paper size let's pass the size under 100 comma 100 and here we can see it has in the paper size similarly it provides the format by default a4 size here it is and and here it has provided the various options like we can say a3 size paper Now it is a three size paper. Next we can provide the margin. So first let's see a four size paper and provide the margin. Refresh and here we go. You can notice the margin from the all sides. Next, it also allow us to add common header footers for each page of the PDF files. So before showing this, I want to show you how you can create different pages. So in the layout file, I'll add a new style. It is going to be page hyphen break page break after always and now in the example pdf let's add div and its class is page break here i will 
say in h1 tag page 1 and right here it's page 2 now let's see refresh and here you can see this is page 1 and next here we have page 2 so whenever you need a new page you can add this div with the page break class and it will insert a new page and now if you want to show common header and footer for each page in that case we can use these three methods let's try this so for that let's create a header and footer view file so in the views pdf let's add a partial header dot blade dot php and another partial underscore footer dot blade dot php and now in the header blade file let's say you want to display a logo so logo and style font size 14 p similarly let's copy this in the footer blade file and let's say here footer content and now in the uh, controller web.php router in our case so here i'll say dollar dollar header html is equal to view pdfs underscore header renderer similarly dollar footer html is equal to view pdfs footer renderer next we need to pass these two right here so here let's go to documentation and we will copy these three methods and paste it here so it will enable the header footer in the pdf and next here we need to pass the header html so let's call this variable and here we need to pass footer html and let's call this html now let's go to browser and refresh and here we go you can see here we have logo from the header view and here we have footer content and in the next page also you can see that display the logo from the header view and this is the footer content maybe in the footer you may want to display the page number and total pages so let's see this how we can do this so in the footer blade file here let's add a new div and uh, here style is font size let's say 10 pics and color let's say 999 nine. let's add margin as well so margin 15 pics and 40 pics clear both in case our styling has the load and next here i'll display page and in the span tag class page number here this class will automatically inject the current page of the pdf file and next here we will say of span and here the class is total pages so this class will inject the current page number and this total page class will inject the total pages of the pdf file see here is the logo from the head and view file and if we see in the footer this is the page one of page two it has total two pages and here page two of two pages here you may face one more issue so here you can see it has printed the logo image in this section but if you want to display this image in the header section it will not work let's see so from the layout this one let's copy it from here and paste that in this hidden partial now let's go to browser 
and refresh you can see here the image is not printed the reason for it is that the header html and the footer html only accepts plain text the header and footer HTMLs will not accept any external resources so here this link will not work so here what we can do let's copy this image tag and then we will say data image png and next base 64 comma and then print base 64 in code and file get contents from this url now the image content of this url is encoded in the base 64 now it should print the image so refresh here we go it has displayed the image from the header so let's reduce its height width let's say style width let's say 30 pics and height is also 30 pics and in the web.php right here let's add the margin top 20 pics and right let's say 15 now refresh here we get the logo or each pages it is too small let's increase little height now it's better now one of the most asked question is that how we can change the font size and font family of this pdf file the answer is easy one the css so let's do this let's say in the pdf layout file here in this style we can add let's say body and here we will specify the font size let's say 1.2 ram now go to browser refresh now here you can notice the font size is increased similarly if you want to change the font family let's go to google fonts and here let's try this cursive one let's select this one and copy this and in the layout file paste it right here next here i'll add a one more class let's say class name is cursive and here we will specify the font family this one next in the example blade file let's add the another paragraph and its class is cursive and one more thing here we are using external links so here we should add one more method wait until network idle this one so it should wait until the every external links are loaded so now in the browser let's refresh now here you can see we have successfully changed the font family of this paragraph next uh, in the web.php i almost forget to mention that here we can pass the variables that we want to print in the pdf documents for example let's say title and here let's say title is example and now we can print that title let's say here dollar title and the browser refresh here is this example i know this is basic but i think let's mention it because maybe some of the developers are watching those are new in laravel favor now here you can notice that here we are doing loads of things first render the sql file for view 
and then we have rendered the HTML file for uh, for header and footers. Then we have called this browser short to generate PDF, and then we downloaded it in the PDF format. Here we are doing too many things. So to make it simpler, let's wrap this in the PDF wrapper class. So first let's close all of these open files and next in the app here we will create a new folder you can name it anything for now let's name it services services directory I'll create a class pdf wrapper dot php let's generate new class and this class going to have a construct method here we will initialize the browser short class so we can say dollar this pdf generator is equal to new browser short so here we will say protected browser short dollar pdf generator and next we also need protected string dollar html and next for header and footer HTMLs, let's declare variable for them also so protected string dollar header html and footer html next uh, in this construct method let's add the default values for header html and footer so we can say donor this header html is equal to this view file and for footer it is going to be underscore footer plate file To render the content of the PDF, here I'll create a new method. Let's say method load view, and it is going to accept a string dollar blade file, and it may accept array of data. So dollar this HTML is equal to view dollar blade file and dollar data renderer and it is going to return dollar this so we can chain methods for this pdf wrapper and here also we will specify it will going to return self sometimes we may need to pass html directly so let's add uh, another method to load as table so here we will see as table and in that case we do not need this data and we will say this HTML is equal to dollar HTML next this is this part is done and this part is also done next we want to generate PDF so let's create a new method generate and here we will return dollar this pdf generator and then we will call all these methods so let's copy all of these and paste it right here in this html we will pass dollar this html and in the header HTML we will say dollar this header HTML next dollar this footer HTML is done next method is the PDF we will not call this right here because we may need to save this generated PDF in the specified path so instead of this we will create a new method save and it is going to accept the string path 
and then we will say dollar this generate and save PDF dollar path and it is going to return void and this generate method is going to return browser short next we may want to download the generated file so we will create a method download and it is going to accept the file name and then in the web.php copy this and paste it here uncomment this and import this next we need modification right here a file name and this so dollar pdf is equal to dollar this generate pdf and next this file name replaced here like this and next we may also need to see this in the browser so let's create a method for this also method stream string dollar file name and then copy this and paste it here now in this variable here we will say dollar this generate pdf and this file name is going to be passed here now this class is ready let's test this now let's remove everything from here and we will going to say return new pdf refer and then load view then we will pass the view path let's see pdf dot example and this pdf example has this title variable so let's pass the data title let's say pdf wrapper class so first let's test the method save we want to save it as pdf wrapper dot pdf now let's go to browser refresh here view not found the error is the directory name is pdfs not pdf now let's go to browser again refresh so we see blank page so it should have downloaded it here we have pdf wrapper pdf file and here we have the rendered content now let's try the download method refresh and here we go this is the pdf wrapper file is downloaded and finally our next method is stream refresh and it has displayed this pdf in the browser similarly if we do not want to pass view file instead we want direct html we can call load html and we can pass direct html like h1 html data refresh and here we have html data now you may want to override the header and footer content so let's create a method for them also so in the pdf wrapper after this load html let's create a new method load header html and it is going to accept string dollar header html and dollar this header html is equal to dollar header html and it's going to return dollar this let's type int 
سهل similarly you will create method for load footer html and here dollar this footer html is equal to footer html and now here we can override the footer and header html so load header html let's say h1 header load footer paragraph tag footer let's go to browser refresh and here it has printed the header but font size is too small that it is almost invisible let me zoom little bit to show you here is maximum zoom but still hardly visible so let me add font size to it style font size let's say 1 mm similarly let's add to footer as well refresh it is still hardly visible let's add 14 pics instead of RAM refresh now it is visible so we have successfully override the existing footer and header and if you want to hide this simply pass empty tag let's say paragraph tag and Now you can see the header and footer are not visible. And if we see the browser short class and look for the height header. Now here you can see that the browser short is also hiding the header and footer by passing empty tag. Similar like we did here. Now it is looking much cleaner. Now finally let's try to export the Google Charts in the PDF as we did with the Laravel Snappy package. So let's go to browser, search for Google Charts. Let's open this link. Let's try this pie chart. So here so here we can copy all of this script create a new charts file charts.blade.php paste it here and in the web.php here we will pass load view it is going to be pdfs.charts now let's copy browser and refresh and here it has printed the chart if i compare this with the laravel snappy package in the snappy package we have modified the js files we have loaded the different version so it was little complicated in the snappy package but if we see this in the browser shot we just drop in and it just work this is all in this video i hope you enjoyed it Thank you for joining me on this coding adventure today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit. And remember, we are back on the coding wagon, aiming to bring you weekly videos. Until next time, happy coding. Mm -hmm.